How's it going guys? I'm Matthias. This is my lovely wife, Amanda Hello. Faye, waving a knife right now. I'm cutting up an apple for this guy. That's not quite safe, girl. <laughs> Anyways, today um, we are doing a little prep for an upcoming video that I'm about to release. Well, not about to release, I'm about to shoot it. Um, you guys really liked that video where I tried a bunch of British foods. And I was thinking, Amanda brought home some some uh, Filipino, uh, like, I guess candies or sweets. And I was just like, oh, this looks so weird. And I was cracking some jokes about it. And I was like, why don't I try some Filipino sweets? Because, well, my wife's Filipino. That'd be super funny. Probably because they're gonna taste weird. <laughs> they're not weird, they taste so good. I'm just messing, I'm just messing with you, babe. See, like, what, what do you have right here? Um, it's called Paul. Pulvera? I don't know. I never really knew what the actual name of it was, but uh, these are amazing. I, I don't know how to explain how it tastes, but I just love it. It's like a it's toasted wheat cake and it's really crumbly <laughs> and I just, it like turns into a paste in your mouth and it's so Ew. <laughs> About to get in the car here and we noticed a pink Cadillac. What? A pink Cadillac. Evidently this Cadillac is for people that sell Mary Kay. You got a lot of you gotta sell a lot of Mary Kay to get a car like this, I am thinking. Okay, so we are here at a hundred islands market, and I believe they sell Filipino foods and other Asian foods or is it just Filipino? Mostly Filipino. Mostly Filipino? Yeah, some other Asian. Okay, so the first thing we found was curly tops made in the Philippines. We're trying to find stuff that is made only in the Philippines because they have a lot of stuff here that are made in like Korea and Thailand and some stuff in Hawaii. So it's it's pretty much uh, more Asian foods here. So we have yeah. to we have to find specifically Filipino foods. See, like this stuff is Thai Thailand. Um, this stuff is Singapore. Um, these things over here are from, I think, Korea, right there. But these look good, don't they? Gonna get another one of these guys because, uh, well, just for show, because she already opened the other one. Here is all that fish sauce Amanda wanted ages ago. Yeah, yeah, because you can't really find it in American Market. Hey, I recognize you. The guy in there was super nice, super helpful, so that was pretty cool. Um, I haven't tried, I mean, me being Filipino, but I wasn't really raised in a Filipino household, so I, there's a ton of stuff in there I didn't even know of. Some of them look good to me, so I'm <laughs> excited. Um, some of them look questionable. Some of them I just want him to try, because I think they're good. <laughs> yeah, like, I know, I know for a fact I'm not gonna like some of them, just because I don't like the ingredients, the generic ingredients that they use. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, it'll be entertaining at least. Um, this video I'm shooting today, so it'll be like two weeks before you guys see it, but I'm excited because I wanna do like, I wanna make this a series where I just try foods from other countries. Um, so. I saw boba in there that you could, we could actually make ourselves and I don't really like boba, but maybe. I'm not a fan of boba e either. I'm, I'm a fan of the popping boba. But maybe like making it yourself will be different than what you get in stores, so. Yeah, like, could knows? be, could be. So um, I'm looking forward to trying other, uh, other foods from other countries if I can get my hands on it. So that leaves me a perfect opportunity for the question of the day. What foods would you like to see me try on the main channel in that what same country? series? What country? Like well, we, what country and what food specifically in yeah, that country? Yeah, like we've um, done England and we've done now the Philippines. Now the Philippines. So put those comments down below and it may actually happen. A man and I are on a walk right now and we just finished live streaming. Actually, we shot the video uh, that we were talking about earlier. We shot the video. We, we shot the video. We live streamed. It's like, it, it turned out to be 20 minutes. It's gonna be cut down and everything like that, but it was a lot of fun, a lot of fun. And I tried a lot of those foods, and I don't wanna give anything away, but it, it's very entertaining, I think. Yeah, I think it's entertaining. She was cracking up. I was, and I got to eat all the food, so. <laughs> yeah, she got to eat all the food afterwards, too, so that's exciting. Um, and after, right after that, we live streamed, and that's the second time I live streamed in a row on the main channel on youtube.com slash matthiasiam slash live. And man, it's just so much fun. 
just like just fun and like Amanda joined me this time so if you yeah. guys are interested the live stream playlist is down below where you can see past live streams we're gonna have a lot more live streams not just on his channel but on the on this channel we're thinking about doing fan mail live streams opening yes. fan mail up live and so we can interact with you guys the, you know the people that sent us stuff or anything like that and we're also gonna be doing like behind the scenes lies so what I mean by that is like when I'm filming a main channel video I can like just go directly out from the camera and show you guys what's coming out of the camera at that moment in time so it's kind of like behind the scenes before I actually make the video yeah could be interesting could be something so let us know down in the comments below I think we already gave you a question of the day but here's another question have you awesome. caught those live streams um, that we did the past two days and did you enjoy them or did it feel spammy to you the one thing I'm worried about live streaming so frequently is that it's just showing up in the subscription box and it feels spammy. Now it's probably not going to be spammy to any of you guys because if you watch our second channel, you most likely are invested in us as creators. Um, so I mean, it may be a loaded question for you guys, but I'd like to know your opinion of that in the comments because I'm like always worried about putting those live streams just public for people to watch just because I don't want people to feel like that's like where my channel is going is only live streams because I'm still going to do all my main channel videos but I just wanted to do added live streams as well so let us know down in the comments below if you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a like otherwise we won't know if you liked it or not and subscribe and we'll see you next time high five Beverly Hills here we come